What's up guys? What's going on? Just coming out of the trailer. I uh, just want to show you guys We got the generator hooked up All right, we're in the parking lot over here at advanced and all the other cars as well But we are trying to the reason why we're stopped here is because advanced auto parts They have a lot of parts here um, and just hooked up the 50 amp does not reach all the way to the truck so with that generator in the back of the truck it has to be unplugged just found out there is no 30 amp on that only a 50 amp so I'm gonna have to get a extension an extra 50 foot or another 25 foot 50 amp so it can reach the generator in the back of the truck anyways the reason why we're hooked up because it's 90 degrees in this camper I needed to turn the AC on so I told you I was gonna bring you guys a video we are working on the water heater and the water heater I called general all right, all right listen I call lazy days because I didn't want to go through general okay lazy Days says we do not service the APEC the coachman APEC I said go figure just our luck so then I said, all right, whatever. I'll call General because that's who sells it. You know what I mean? Who sells it? So what I did was I turned around and I said, hey, I called the manufacturer, the manufacturer of the water heater. I called Coachman and Coachman just gave me a runaround. Hey, you need to go to a local dealer. I said, come on, seriously, just just all these damn runarounds okay so now thank god that i got someone good with rv or general rv her name is april very good person basically talked us through all the steps and everything then i found out that i have to go under under tyler's bed go under it and behind in the under Tyler's bed there is a you know the water water heater so I'm gonna have to go under there and and see if if it's unplugged so that's why we are plugged in getting AC in there so I can go in there and work and uh, basically give you guys something that we can maybe hopefully that's the answer when we drove around because Ever since we left, hashtag driveway, um, since we left there, the water heater has not worked. It was working fine then. So, I, and then Tyler slept back there. So I think when he used the bed, it could have knocked the unplugged the water heater because there's no clicking, no nothing, and it's brand new. So there should be no problems with this darn water heater so we're gonna go inside I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit but I need a 50 amp 25 foot I'm gonna add that we, we need that cuz you know anything like this happens we need to cool this thing down it was 90 degrees in this camper when I just went in that's why you can see sweat just dropping down but anyways thank God there's a there's a cool breeze so I'm out here Nick is editing videos i don't know if you can see her in there but she's editing vi videos she's bringing you guys videos i'm making them she's editing them some of them because she takes very very long to do them but she's precise with the editing so her videos are going to come out a lot better than mine but as much as i'm pu pushing out videos i have to edit the way i edit at this point in time to get you guys um information updates thing like that you know so i mean if i had all week to give you one video a week one live a week and that's it then yes then i could do a video three days of the week then spend the other four days editing hey i'm good you know but we we i produce videos every day so like right now i'm working on two that should be done today but i'm working on this water heater so let's go in there let's go check it out you here, nick? has it cooled down a little bit yeah 
All right. Let's bring my uh, my drill. My drill. We gotta get back here. Just enough room to squeeze on through. And this little cubby hole right here. I gotta unscrew it and go under there. So here we go. That's a small screw right there. Looks like they already tried to get it off. Save these screws. Oh, it came down. What is this stuff right here? Hey, here come. This is the back of the water heater right here. Yep. Can you go ahead and put these screws? Or no, I gotta win. All right. Can you, what's that here? All right, so there's this, the plug. Looks like plug is in. Yeah. So, it's nothing to do with the plug. All right, is there any switches back there? That's what I was trying to find out. Um, I don't know, I don't see any. Lord. Tight squeezes. So maybe if I unplug this and then plug it back in, because that's the plug for it, and then go ahead and plug it back in. There's power going to it. I feel it. I feel the power. Okay, there's the hot water. This is where you turn it off, right here. Okay, maybe not, but it, everything looks good, man. The gas is running through it. These are the power switches, so. Nothing looks like they're unhooked up so that's just crazy man why it's not igniting because it should all right so plugged it unplugged it so maybe that let's check it out all right you know nick had to go up in there because she couldn't trust me doing it Nick's all down there trying to do it too. Nick down there. The fuses? Yeah. Checking the fuses. The three is kitchen. That's the first one. Yep. Amp. Monitor. Yep. Is the second one. Yep, that's it. Amp bath. Got amp it. Light. And that she said that the amp bath is the fan. 
Okay. Stereo. All right, guys. Well, we did not find the problem. Um, I filled five gallons up from that was not chlorine, guys. That was just chlorine jugs. We filled them up with water and I funneled it into the tank so we could see if the water heater would turn on. We called people, they talked us through it. Just not working. Um, oh man, just, uh, just our luck. Anyways, we'll keep you guys posted and let you guys know what is happening. But Nick is back there. I'm out back. I'm like crazy. Anyways, much love. Like us adventures is getting real. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some magic here. See if this is possible. Don't lose, Ted. So the other one stayed in there. Yeah. But that one got stuck. Fingers across that problem lies here. Nothing comes off. It doesn't come off. Nope.
for it to just stop, was it? Yeah, well, apparently the ignition switch, well, our electric would work if it was just an ignition switch. It must be that whole board, like that guy said on YouTube. Yep. So it just goes out. Right. That's crazy. The only thing is to take it to uh, RV General and do on-site camping where we work an hour and a half away. So I just don't know how that's going to work. Try to call a mobile person. They don't even answer the phone. I just called him. They don't even answer the phone. So that's all tight and all done? I'm going to go plug it back in. And it seems to me that we checked all the fuses, the back of it, where it plugs in. That was all plugged in. Seems like it's not getting gas. Um, it's not clicking. Brand new unit, never been used. And in the first month, there's a problem with the water heater. Hey, we thought that we can at least do one more thing, look at one more thing. Nope. Not it. So, well, fingers crossed that we can find a mobile guy so we can try to get him here so we do not have to drive so far away, get the part, and then send it to Coachman and have them pay for it because it should be under warranty. Simple as that. All right, guys. We have made it to a friend's house. And, uh,. on a roundabout in the middle of a roundabout circle nice little parking spot you know for the night late night um you know basically you know a one night a one night stand <laughs> we're gonna do a one night stand at a friend's house but really it's not really at a friend's house the friend's house is right over here behind the bushes and they said that we could park on the round roundabout but we have to be out by eight o'clock well nick works and has to be at work by eight o'clock so everything's good on that end um sort of like boondocking but having our water heater gone shut down kaput i have tried to diagnose everything and that's what this video at the beginning was about um we have called around uh, Lazy Days RV Park does not um, take coachmen. They do not um, service them. I believe Camping World does, but um, we're going to take the chance. I know, guys, I really don't want to do this, but they do a camp, camp for stay or stay and camp. And if I bought it from General RV... And I'm staying in it. I will be able to go there, stay there, and be put on a list. And us being the ones that have bought the rig at that location, they will skip or we can skip the line. So for it just being a water heater, because we need it, because we need to take showers and we need to have hot water, um, we cannot be boondocking or or going anywhere besides RV places and not having a shower. So this is going to put a big damper on us. Luckily, we stopped at a friend's house. They allowed us to park in the road and take showers tonight. Um, but tomorrow, Nick is working. And tomorrow's big trip, okay, is base. I'm saying tomorrow, guys, but you guys aren't going to get this video until tomorrow. So it's going to be the video, you know what I'm saying, so... We're a day behind. I'll be taking 275 top speeds. I'm going to say no more than 50 miles an hour on 275 going past Tampa, going through I-4. So this will be the second trip, first trip on a very busy highway, fully loaded. This will be the first trip fully loaded. 
and buying and being at general we're going i'm going to go there nick's going to work if i am still there and have to stay the night she will have to come there stay the night and just have to leave bushy tail in the morning because it's about an hour and 30 minutes from our jobs um i will be going back to work on friday to finish my week um but i'll tell you today and going and trying to diagnose this, calling people, calling the manufacturer. They just gave us a runaround. So I'm going to General and I'm going with the stickers on the truck, letting them know. You know, I mean, we're not that big, guys, but one day we will. Hopefully people will start listening and, and, and watching because I, I will definitely call a business out if they're just not doing what they should i will always give the honest truth always give you my input um but i'll tell you it's it's something we've only had it for a month and this is going bad or this has gone bad now that is wrong someone said hey i must got a uh, a lemon or a lime no it was a lemon and i said no it's a lime so i hope i hope to you know god that that has that's not the case um i honestly think it was safety things that are you know that will switch on if if you're doing something wrong well you know me i'm gonna do something wrong <laughs> and i'm gonna try to do everything i possibly can to learn because this is what's going to happen i'm going to have to learn real quick i'm starting to learn how to drive this bad boy the first two days oh my god but anyhow, wish me luck on the journey. Um, hope I will be, or I'm, I was about to say, well, hopefully you guys will be with me, but I will video record it. I will bring it to you guys, um, bring you guys the experience. Um, if we can go live, that would be great. Um, but we're trying to, you know, this is serious stuff. I want to be able to have time and do it if I was live, you know, it's, it's constantly on that phone. Um, at least when I do recordings, I can stop it, go do something that I have to do and then come back to that video and finish it. That's why some, that's why I am a day behind, um, doing the video and then a couple hours editing the video and then trying to push it out as fast as I possibly can, because we have to try to keep videos coming guys. Um, give you guys every step of the play. Um, every move, you know, so you guys can watch it. Um, but yeah, big day tomorrow. We're going, or I'm going to RV General. We're going to have them look at the water water heater. I'm going to ask them if they can reset the, the hitch, um, the sway bars. And there was something else that I need them to look at. Um, we'll figure, or I'll figure it out when I get there. Um, I'm going to try to weigh it also, but the weighing station is north on 275 at the Flying J. I believe it's 75, 275 that turns into 75. It's about another 45 minutes north or maybe, no, 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 not 45 minutes north. It's about 25, 30 minutes north. So it just depends. Maybe we can do a loop or something because we definitely need to get a tow. Or not a tow, but we definitely need to get a a weight so we know exactly what we're pulling, what the truck has, and stuff like that. Luckily, Nick has a car, so we have been taking everything that's heavy and putting it on the or in the car. And she's driving the car, I'm driving the truck, so she's behind us um, with me and Tyler. Or if it's just me, and then it will be her and Tyler. In the car behind always on the cell phone she's letting me know you know what's happening on the back end if anything's going on with the truck or the trailer um backing in places she's there but past couple times she hasn't been because she's been working guys i mean she is working 10 hours a day six days a week um she'll be lucky to get days off but when she does um we run it so I am going to let you guys know on Sundays, we will not be doing videos. Um, so 
most likely every week. I will keep them every other, you know, every every day, and keep it a day behind. But if we take off on Sunday, that will knock every week. That will knock a video back. So trust me, I got you guys. I got you. Um, we're gonna get things going. Hopefully, you guys are are really enjoying the content. I really want to give you everything I possibly can. I want to bring you guys fun adventurous and jokes but uh I was about to say oh here comes Nick let me turn it around hey Nick so Nick is uh getting ready to go to work um up in the shower we're gonna come in here take most probably a five hour nap get up and do another day's worth of adventures god bless you guys you guys have a wonderful night again thank you guys so much for coming over to the premiere giving it a like watching our videos don't forget to hit that notification bell and go check out the website wyckoffsadventures.com god bless you guys wyckoffsadventures is out of here till the next adventure <laughs>